Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. Thank you for joining me today. If you're new here or you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up while you're watching, as it does help us out a lot. And if you haven't joined our Facebook group, it is called Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. A pod is a group of hippos. It's a very positive atmosphere uh, full of great resellers. I always encourage people to join us over there. What are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about the top jeans that sold on eBay in 2022. I recently did the same concept, but with plush, and that was a pretty fun video to do. It seemed to um, have a lot of folks that liked watching it as well. And since I had so much fun making it, I decided to do one on jeans. Because my second love and favorite thing to list next to plush is jeans. And I like to talk about them as well and probably as much as I do plush. So we're going to start today with um, therapy. We're going to be looking at therapy and discerning the top brands that sold on eBay in 2022. The video is called the top 10 brands of jeans. But when I share my screen with you and show you how I actually had to search for this on therapy, we're going to have to look at men's and then women's. Um, so we're not necessarily just looking at the top 10. It's kind of a mess back there. Um, I'll show you. Let me show my let me share my screen. So I will also be doing a follow-up to this video, just as I did with the plush, where I will be doing the top 10 um, pairs of jeans that Keith and I actually sold on our various platforms last year. But today we're going to be looking at Terapeak. So I went to Terapeak and... Um, I just typed in jeans on my first search and I got purses, jackets, bags, shoes. I got all kinds of um, skewed results. So I need to be more specific and ask it just for women's jeans like this so that I can do specifically in women's clothing category. So we'll look at women's and then we'll look at men's. I have it sorted to just last year. Did you know you can go back two years on Terapeak now? Um, but I wanted just to look at 2022. I don't like looking at auctions. Um, I don't always feel like those are an accurate representation of what's happening in the world or what's happening in the world. Um, I don't feel like uh, auctions are an actual really good representation of what things sell for on eBay. There's a lot of rumors that auctions are shell bids and you don't know if the people actually paid because sometimes they don't. So I just don't even deal with them. I didn't do any conditions, just any je women's jeans. And then I sorted it by highest price to lowest. But this is like out of this world, $10,000. And this is an auction. I don't know why I put an auction. See, even last not to. $10,000 for vintage women's Gloria Vanderbilt Marjani blue jeans. 7000 for Polo Ralph Lauren lock chain jeans. Now these could be correct. These seem like once in a lifetime finds. I have never found any of these um, $3,000 jeans in the wild. This is a lot. So there's a whole bunch of jeans in there. Dulce and Cabana, I can believe. I once found Dulce and Cabana at a thrift in Florida and they were like 180 bucks, maybe 200, um, even used. Although Florida was outrageous, but I do believe that Dulce and Cabana is a it's a very high-end brand. Robert Roberto Cavalli. Here's another Dulce and Cabana. So you can see that there are jeans in the world that will sell used for thousands of dollars. There's vintage. There are just luxury brands. I don't think that this listing here, <laughs> jeans, women, <laughs> sold for $1,400 on an auction. And there you go. This is why I don't trust auctions. Jeans, women, so no. Here's some Chanel's. So these are brands that I would say, hey, guys, look out for. These are definitely bolos. But the odds of finding these and finding them on a regular basis are just not that good. Um, I want to call them once-in-a-lifetime finds. However, I do have reseller friends that live in or around New York City, um, which is like the fashion capital, right? And I have friends that live in and around Beverly Hills, and they do find stuff like this in their thrifts, um, especially like in places like Beverly Hills, New York City, where you have very wealthy people 
who actually do replace their wardrobe once or twice a year, and they'll just donate their stuff. Um, so it is possible, depending on where you live, what kind of folks are donating to the thrift stores where you live, to find these. But, you know, I don't think I'm going to, in Pennsylvania, find these brands on a regular basis. But it is good to look at them. St. Laurent, I have found once. Um, there's the Attico Fern Cargo. So these are good brands. Um, and, of course, Vintage anything. Let's look at page two. There's Louis Vuitton. There is Damien Hurst. So these are just luxury brands. Um, but just to give you an idea, like, yes, this is the most expensive pairs of jeans that sold in 2022, according to Terapeak. Um, there's a pair of Madewell that sold for 757 Rock Revival for 750 That's on an auction, though, so I don't know. Um, but if you just go back to the last 90 days of on eBay and just search for women's jeans and the only filters I have applied here are sold and that always does complete it as well. And you look through, here's a more realistic approach to deciding what to source. I mean, we're all going to find Miss Me. We're all going to find, um, see, these are brands that you may want to avoid if you don't like to do bread and butter, but they're silver. Hey, look, somebody who didn't race to the bottom. They have their silvers listed for $32 plus $10 shipping. Congratulations. <laughs> That's about what silver should be selling for. Um, here's some lucky brands. And then you can see the prices, too. You guys know I start all of my American Eagles at $20 free ship, and I can see that other people are actually selling them for $20 plus shipping. So it may be time for me to reconsider my comps and double-check some things. Um, here's some Torrid silver. So these are more realistic prices and everyday sales on eBay. These are brands that we can all find um, and source and sell for good prices. No, we're not getting $10,000 for our lucky brands and our Miss Me's. Um, I wanted to see if this was going to let me sort by price highest first real quick. So you can still see there's, this is an auction though, you see? One bed, one bed. So here's some Dulce and Cabanas that sold in the last 90 days and they did sell for 2,183. I would think at this point, if I sold jeans for $2,183, I may be able to swing free shipping from the buyer. <laughs> so here we go, Dulce and Cabani, Versace, Ralph Lauren, Runway. Um, that's a skirt. So again, when I sort like this, you're finding these really high-end luxury brands. And there's enough of them selling that there are buyers out there who are finding these. Or sellers, sorry. Sellers who are out there finding these. Um, this is a lot of 46 pairs of Miss Me jeans. So it's not a bad idea to look through the solds and sort from highest to lowest, whether you just want to look right on eBay or Terapeak. And... Take note of these brands, put them somewhere in your head, because if you ever did chance upon them, um, if you're traveling, you may go to thrift stores that you don't normally go to, and you want to have Magnolia in your head, because this is a $500 pair of jeans. You want to know if you ever see these, ever, in your lifetime to pick them up. So these are the top women's jeans, and let's just take a quick look at men's. Men's jeans. I want to go back one year. I don't care about the condition. I don't want auctions if I can help it. All right. We got white tab Levi's for $17,000. Um, vintage Levi's from the Olympics in 1984 for $14,000. Supreme, $6,000. I believe that. Uh, Robin's Jeans Authentic Blackout. Those sold for $4,955. What's this new old stock here? New old stock Levi's 501 Shrink to Fit for $3,800. Plus 16 shipping. 
Don't forget to charge shipping when you're selling something for thousands of dollars. Uh, we've got dead stock Levi's 501 salvage denim for almost three grand. So again, the, the Levi's are good when they're vintage, especially men's. But let's go take a look at the last 90 days on eBay. Men's jeans. Is it still filtering? Yes. So men's jeans, the last 90 days here. Sure. Okay. We've got vintage Levi's, of course, 1960s Levi's with a big E. Those are valuable. And it looks like most of the expensive men's jeans are these vintage jeans, the big E, the um, new old stock. Whereas women's were the more luxury brands and the bolo items, the men's are just a lot of vintage Levi's. But now I want to take off the pricing highest to lowest and just do ended recently and just kind of take a look at everyday jeans of men's that are selling. We've got Levi's, of course, that sell for 30 and 50 and 60 all day, every day. It just depends on the style, the number behind Levi's and everything. Men's American Eagle sell for 35. We've got Hollister here for 30. See, people always blink at me and give me funny looks when I say, I sell American Eagle and Hollister. Well, you can see here what they actually sell for. I'm not crazy. If you just stop racing to the bottom and start actually comping your items and pricing them at what they're worth, you can get these kind of prices for these jeans. In fact, like I said, I may be pricing some of mine too low with the free shipping on it if everyone else is getting $18 to $20 plus shipping on some of these brands. Of course, men's do sell for a little bit more than women's, always. We've got Carhartt. You can, you can see as I'm scrolling down here, the prices and the brands that are like the everyday jeans that you can source and sell in the men's department. So that is an idea of just what's selling every day. Um, of course, the most expensive jeans for men are going to be those Levi's that are vintage and the big E's and then women's. Uh, Dulce, Gabbana, Chanel, all of those real big luxury brands. And it's not a bad idea to look through these once in a while and just kind of file facts away in your head somewhere what to look for when you're outsourcing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments or if you have any questions, comments, concerns about selling denim on eBay or any other platform or reselling in general. Go be productive, guys. Go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.